Hi guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. Joined here today by Mr. Paul McGinley. Thank you very much for spending some time with me at the Berkshire today, Paul. We've just played a little three hole challenge. No spoilers, please. <laughs> um, it was fun. Hi guys, I'm Rory. I've been joined here at the Berkshire Golf Club today by Mr. Paul McGinley. Uh, thank you for coming along, Paul. Thank you. Try that again. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Rory. Uh, I've been joined here today at the Berkshire Golf Club by Mr. Paul McGinley. Thank you for coming down, Paul. Thank you, Rory. And again. <laughs> okay. Take three. Uh, and we talked about golf in Ireland. And one of the concepts that the Irish Tourist Board, who are here with today, is floating is the island of Ireland. Obviously, you've got the Republic and you've got Northern Ireland, but we're going to talk about the thing as a whole. We're going to tell the guys at home what our top five golf courses in Ireland are. Courses that we've played, so obviously you've definitely got an edge on me here. You've got a much bigger bank of courses to go through. Um, and then we're going to get these guys to decide who's got the better list. I imagine it's going to be you. So I'm gonna fire all five of mine at you. And we're gonna talk about why I like them and things like that, so. Okay. <laughs> it is a tough one because I've played a lot of golf in Ireland and it is an amazing place. But I'm gonna go straight in with the European club, which is a very unusual golf course. As you know, you've played it, I would imagine. Yes, I've played the more tough golf course. Very tough, I think mm. the course record there is still 67 by Tiger, I think. This guy's is a 20 hole golf course. So Pat Ruddy designed the course basically didn't like the idea of any lengthy walks between greens and tees, so he just stuck an extra couple of par threes in. I have to say the 12A, I think, is one of them. It's actually one of my favorite par threes on the course. Some great holes on it. Stunning scenery. Yeah. The railway sleepers in the bunkers yeah. make me a little bit twitchy that yeah. I'm gonna catch a thin bullet and then take a ball to the knee, but um, that would be my number one, or my first course in the top five. And then similarly, for a lot of same reasons in terms of scenery, challenge, everything, I've got to go with Tralee. Are you surprised to hear me say that, considering some of the yeah. courses around in that area? Yeah, yeah Tralee, designed by Arnold Palmer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fabulous course, it's a beautiful place. The the views are just spectacular. Yeah. Because um, I think I, a lot of people in that neck of the woods would just go straight to Bally Bunyan, yeah. the Hinge place like that. But I yeah. kind of, I went on a tour with my dad years ago, we kind of strapped Trillion on as a fourth golf course, like uh, that will be our last course of the tour, yeah. but it all kind of we blew all of us away and it actually ended up being our favourite by quite a distance. So. Yeah. Well that's the thing about it, it's all opinions and yeah. you can't be wrong. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Exactly, you can't <laughs> be wrong. He knows Trillion, wow, wow, and wow. I guess look at the setting Matt is in here, look, look at it, I'm going to just leave this panned out for you all. Look at that, what a golf hole. Truly spectacular going on my spectacular high list this. Yeah, yeah. Told you boys. Look look how pure that sand is. I reckon that's the only guy who's walked on that sand today. It's not Reginald Perrin, is it? You look lovely there, Dan. And look at it. It's so impressive. Oh that's the shot. That is the shot. That's so good. <laughs> Where is it? Where's that? Has it gone in yet? That's such a good there he is. I, 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 how far away is that? I don't even need a play part. Three 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 shot. Shot. So I reckon look, that I've played the best part three in anyone in the world. Look at that smile. <laughs> Thank you. I would agree. You've like played that one in Iceland, just yeah. repeating it. Yeah. Like you're just going, we won't repeat. Uh, we won't repeat. Par three has been a joke like, today. That, look at this, look at this old. It's so tough. You just stripe that up there like you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do this. That's oh, a it's really good shot. That's well. got to kick right. Carry that, that bunker really. and get out of there. Oh, here it comes. comes. It's over it. Yeah, here it good comes. Shot. Here Great comes. shot. Well done. Oh, Towering Rory. too high. Yeah, what? It's Rory, good. Rory, Rory, Rory. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 
You don't get this close to the sea on many golf courses like that when you're green and no. straight there. Absolutely stunning. Number three. I'll change the angle slightly because I do love Lynx Golf. I think I'll go Druid's Glen. We talked about earlier, you've played quite a few events there in the past. Yes. Irish Opens and things like that. So the trophies, yeah. Um, and I would, I would say that that golf course has one of the best collections of par threes oh, of yeah, any so golf course I've yeah. ever yeah. played in the world. Yeah, I agree with that. See that famous one down the hill, the 12th, I think it is. Yeah. But you've got two or three others there and it's just, I can get your phone out and take as many pictures as possible in that place. Beautiful there, yeah. Oh my. Oh my. This is why this is one of my favourite. Let me go for one a little world. bit. Let me go. Ah. Oh. Because I've played some great courses along with you, man. Anyway. Yeah. And now you down more as well. I mean, this one has always stayed in my heart, Matthew. It's beautiful. But it's always stayed with me as a memorable light when people say, What's your favourite courses? It's one of, it's Sawgrass, St. Melian. Turnbury. Trump Aberdeen, Trump Turnbury, and this one are often the ones that just flow out of my voice. Out of my lovely tones, you know? Dulcet. Yeah. Dulcet. Don't be Bracing. rude. Yeah. Nine? Nine. <laughs> I've got nine. nine. <laughs> Bracing sharp, stabbing tones. <laughs> Bracing sharp, repeatable tones. <laughs> That's why Dan's here. He stiffs that. Stiff. Oh, it is as well. That's oh, a gimme. Oh, oh, it's just God. short. That's a gimme. Oh, that is that, so that could close. be a birdie. That's a gimme. Is that is that a gimme? That's it's a gimme. Be a birdie, that. Not quite, but might off, kick in. Ball, he might uh, kick bunker. off. Yeah, bunker. Oh, yeah. Bunker. They have no shot here. Absolutely no shot. Pick it up, Dan. Pick yep. it up. <laughs> you come you. and take the camera, Dan. Right. Raimondo. This is a tough up and down from here. This is just oh, a little yeah. bit skinny. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't. Yes. He hasn't. Yes. He? Yes. Oh! oh. No. <laughs> wow. How did that he has nipped that. Lovely. Awesome. Um, um, Ireland County Wicklow. Yeah. Where to next? Ballyliffin. Extreme northwest. Obviously held the Irish Open last summer, was it? I mean, with weather like it was in Barbados last year. Yes. <laughs> like mid 20s every day with five mile an hour wind. It was quite extraordinary, but fabulous. Glashidi, there's two courses there. There's the yeah. old course, uh, as well as Glashidi, which is the one we play the Irish Open. That's fabulous. Yeah, I've done Glashidi a couple of times, but never the old, but I've heard it's mm. extremely good as well. So. Mm. Similarly to Drew's Glen, that's kind of an option for your one night, two round kind of break. But um, Nick Fallow's favourite, actually, the old course. Really? There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fifth and final course. I'm going to head into Northern Ireland, and I'm going to have to go Royal Port Rush for obvious reasons. I presume you well, you were obviously there with Sky this year. Yeah, well, I grew up. You see, growing up in Ireland, we're very lucky. All the amateur events, the big amateur events, are played on our best courses. Mm. The north of Ireland, uh, we have five big amateur events and north, south, east and west of Ireland and, and the uh, Irish Irish close as we call it um, and the north of Ireland was played year on year in Port Rush so we grew up playing it uh, year on year, it's fabulous. And how, I mean, it's actually my favourite course to play in Ireland. Ah there we go, so I've mm. taken it off your list because one yeah. of the caveats that yeah. I didn't mention at the start of the video is that Paul can't choose any of the courses that I've chosen so <laughs> I've nicked one away from you there. Yeah. So there's my top five, so I've gone obviously European Club, Tralee, Druid's Glen for a bit of Parkland loveliness Valley Liffin and then Port Rush. So hit me with your five. Uh, okay, my five. Oh, where do I start? I mean, Port Marnock. Uh, I'm going to go the, you know, the best courses. Yep. Um, Port Marnock Gold. I, I'm going to go Port Marnock Gold. Absolutely. I think that's a um, fabulous golf course. Very fair golf course. I played the Walker Cup there in 1991. Um, I think uh, hopefully one day, fingers crossed, we'll have an Open Championship there. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be deserved of it. The players will love it just like they love Port Rush. Uh, in a capital city, it ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah, I mean, what is it, 25 minutes into the centre of Dublin uh, from it there? It is, yeah. So I'm going to go there. Uh, another one of my real favourites is uh, is Baltray, County Louth, just north of Dublin, about mm -hmm. 30 miles north of Dublin. Uh, I grew up playing a lot of Lynx golf there as a boy. Uh, my dad was a member, still is a member. 
um, uh, Lynx Golf Course with the Irish Open there a few years ago. Shane Lowry won as an amateur actually around there. Uh, that's a real fun golf course to play. Um, I'm going to go Waterville. I think that's okay. our best course in the whole island of Ireland. Um, okay, fantastic. That's not my most fun Coast. to play. I, I probably enjoy playing Port Rush more, but I would say that Waterville is the uh, is the best golf course that we have uh, in Ireland. Ross's Point, uh, which yep. not, maybe not a lot of people know, on the very west coast, County Sligo. Um, an old Harry Cole design. Yeah, unbelievable uh, views from like, is it the third tee once you climb up? That's to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Second, outrageous. Second, well, yeah, second goes up the hill, third tee box, you're right, yeah. all the way down. It's just a fabulous golf course. And coming in, the back nine with the ocean, Atlantic Ocean on the right hand side, such a variety of holes there. I love that. I love that golf course. Um, I love playing it. And then um, I will probably finish with. Um, inland courses I'm going to put an inland golf course in there so you've got three brilliant ones you've got uh, Mount Juliet you've got the K Club um, and then you've got the new Adair Manor um, <laughs> so to pick one of those um, in terms of fun golf course to play I would say it has to be Mount Juliet okay yeah I think that, the other two are very difficult that hosted uh, WGC it did Tiger, Tiger won it yeah. yes it's had a few Irish Opens as well and um, big success there but it's a fun golf course very mature estate designed by Jack Nicholas um, it's rumored that Nicholas thinks it's his best course he's done oh really uh, I haven't heard that from him but I've heard other people say that that he said that I'm not so sure uh, if he said it or not but uh, I've had a lot of Nicholas courses around the world and it's my favorite Jack Nicholas design course uh, beautiful setting there as much as K Club are great and also obviously at their manner they're a lot more difficult yeah. and, and as you get older and the golf game is not as good as it was you choose the courses that are a little bit easier and uh, I think Mount Julie gives you uh, gives you a few opportunities to make birdies around there and it's a lovely ambiance a lovely place to be cool so there are 10 spectacular golf courses for you guys to keep an eye out for if you're ever heading to Ireland and I think one of the funniest things about the list we've just given is that if you consider some of the courses that didn't make either top five yeah it just goes to show how many world-class places there are to play it on the island of Ireland you think like Royal County Down it's not getting in there is it yeah we didn't mention Royal County Down and I mean, that's, that's ranked as the best golf course know, in the world yeah. by a lot of people so. probably I should have had it in there to be honest I should have had it's it a in tough there. ask just picking just five <laughs> yeah you know the only thing that, that that stops me from putting County Down in there is there's a number of holes that are blind off the tee I think yeah. it's a great second shot golf course yeah but I'm not it's just me personally and again it's all about opinions I'm not a fan of blind tee shots hitting yeah. and over hills I like to be able to see where I'm going. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. Like I said, 10 golf courses that you definitely need to check out if you're heading to Ireland. Thank you very much for Paul for your insight. Appreciate your time as always. Thank you. And as always, you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've got any questions about an Ireland golf holiday, pop them in the comments section. Email me at raymondo at yourgolftravel.com. Get in touch on social media. You know the drill by now, and we'll see you guys soon.